So I actually already recorded this uh, once, but I forgot that I had muted my mic so there wouldn't be any extra background noise while I was getting the footage from the stream. So yeah, that happened. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and dive into all this. Today was the Expansive Worlds live stream that they do every week on Tuesday, and they showed off a ton of amazing stuff from the Finland map. And right here we have a good look at the Greylag Goose. Now, unfortunately they were kind of through the trees, so it was difficult to get a close-up nice look at them, but you can kind of see them flapping their wings through the trees there, and they look really good. It's honestly kind of difficult to see them, like I was saying, but it was a good enough look to where we can see the type of detail that were actually put into them. And then right here we have the first look at a raccoon dog, and a lot of people were worried that they were going to be a copy-paste of the raccoon, and... I mean, if you guys have looked up the raccoon dog, you can tell that they're very different from a raccoon, and we can see that right here. They definitely have a much nicer, more, I guess, stocky, tall look to them. They've got very long legs, which is one of the main differences between a raccoon and a raccoon dog, and they are a completely different species. From what I had heard, they just have resemblances to a raccoon. They aren't actually related to them in any way, they just have a visual similarity and that is why they got the name raccoon dog but they do look pretty cool and i don't understand why anytime something like this is added to the game i always see a few people saying that it's just a copy paste of you know another species like the raccoon but in reality this is what they look like in real life so i don't know what you guys want from them if they're gonna add a species like this they gotta make them true to life and if it looks similar to another that's just the way it is that's just how life is you know, in the wild, there's a lot of different species that do have similarities, and that's that's just how they are. It's not a matter of copy-paste, it's a matter of making them as accurate as they are in real life, and it just so happens the raccoon dog does have similarities to a raccoon. But they do look really nice, so I feel like regardless of whether or not they have similarities to a raccoon, they look good, and that's all that matters, and they're going to be a lot of fun to hunt from what they've shown. Right here we have our first look at a willow ptarmigan, and... These are probably going to be one of my favorites to hunt from this map, mainly because of one reason, and you guys will see that very soon. They showed off one of the fur types that I am just so excited to try and take down for these Willow Ptarmigan, because it looked so good. And right here, we're going to have our first up-close look at the female Willow Ptarmigan. I believe this was just a common, uh, but either way, it's very good looking, and I'm really impressed with them. I hope that we get a closer look at some of the other uh, bird species in the next stream that they do. If I'm not mistaken, I think they said geese are going to be the next thing that they take a look at, which will be pretty cool because we've seen all the duck species, well, most of the duck species at least, and then we've also seen a lot of the upland game birds from this live stream, and we will go over them as we do the rest of this video. But this is the willow ptarmigan female, this is the brown plumage type which I believe is going to be a common plumage type. It, it seems like it is just one of the normal ones that you get. Uh, they also did mention that the scoring is going to be different when it's actually released and that the, the high scores or whatever is a apparently a bug at the moment, but I don't necessarily think that that's the truth. I think they actually are accurate. I think there must have been a miscommunication because the scoring looks the same as the quail and the reason that they're scored with such high numbers is because their weights are so low that if they use a normal scoring system it would just say like 0.5 or 0.4 there would be no variation in the scores if they use the same scoring as a lot of the other birds in the game so i feel like this is accurate and there must have just been some type of miscommunication but again i could be wrong on that but this is the molting feather variation of the willow ptarmigan this is the one that i was talking about that i'm very very excited to see but you guys can kind of see what i mean by the scoring it's a 0.65 kg weight and if they use the same scoring system as the ducks you'd only have like five different scores that would show up or six different scores that would show up on the harvest screen Obviously, there's that hidden decimal, but that doesn't show up when you're actually in the harvest screen, so I do think that actually is some accurate scoring. It's identical to what the quail score, so I do think that that's accurate. But right here, we have a look at our outposts. This is actually pretty cool because these outposts look very similar to Generation Zero's cities. If you guys have ever played Generation Zero, it's kind of like a robots take over the world type of game made by Expansive Worlds. And it uses a lot of similar assets and stuff to Call of the Wild. And I do believe that this is 
very similar to the stuff in Generation Zero, if my memory serves me right. It's been about a year since I've played the game, but this looks a lot like a lot of the areas in that game. And right here, we had a little bit of a uh, surprise. Jaxie ended up finding a Diamond Eurasian Lynx, which was kind of cool. Didn't really expect to see that. On a stream that was uh, mainly focused on the Upland game, this is like the last thing that we were expecting to uh, come across, but you know, it's a nice little bonus added in there. It was definitely cool to see it get taken down. 27.90 on the score, and that is something that I'm very excited for with this map, is the chance at maybe getting a Eurasian Lynx Diamond, because that's a diamond I still don't have. I also don't have any rares of the Lynx because I just, I hate hunting them on Medved. It's uh, not very fun for me but I could definitely see myself hunting them on Finland. Right here we have a close-up look at some female Capricallis or Capricallis, uh, however you want to pronounce it. And they look pretty good as well. We didn't actually get to see a male, but we have seen those uh, in the stream that TK did. And they do look pretty good as well. If you guys haven't seen that, you can go back and look at the video that I posted a couple weeks ago. But here's a close-up look at the female ones. Once again, just incredible feather detail. I'm very impressed with that. Now I should probably mention that they did say that there's not going to be any release date as of now. They don't have a release date at the moment, so uh, we are going to have to wait for that. Uh, like Jaxi said a few different times during this stream and previous streams as well. This is the earliest they've ever shown off a map, so they're still a ways off of actually getting the release because as of now they have not passed certification on the consoles. So that's kind of what we're waiting on as of now is the console certification. Once certification is passed, then they will be able to actually give us a release date. So that's some good information to know. It's unfortunate that there's no release date, but it is good that they're telling us all of this stuff. I'm very happy with the transparency that we've received from EW with the last couple updates. And it's just been getting better and better as they've progressed. Uh, it, it's always nice to get these types of information because for the longest time we didn't really get that and it's amazing to see the changes EW has made over the last year or so. Uh, right here we have a look at the black grouse. Now unfortunately Jaxie was not able to get any of them down. Uh, they ended up spooking off and well as you guys probably know hitting small birds with the 22 isn't always the easiest thing. So they did end up getting away but we can see them waddling off and the waddling animations do actually look pretty good. I am pretty happy with that but it would have been really nice if we could have seen them up close. However, we do get to see one of these up close. This right here is the hazel grouse, and they look a little bit different than I expected. I've never actually seen a hazel grouse in real life. I've uh, only seen a couple different grouse species, and I can't actually remember the names of them off the top of my head, but we don't have the uh, hazel grouse here as far as I know, so it was cool to see them, and they do look pretty good. Now, I don't know um, what is going to be a common, what is going to be a rare, obviously, because this is still very early and we don't really have too much information about it. But just off of this look right here, if this is one of the commons, that's beautiful. Like, that is absolutely beautiful. And once again, the fine detail in the plumage is just second to none. That's one thing that Expansive Worlds has always done phenomenally with the species, is just detailing them so perfectly with the different, uh, the f different feathers and uh, fur looks and textures. I do love the way the animals look in this game. And with that being a brown plumage type, I'm assuming that this is a common. So this is pretty much gonna be what we see all the time for the hazel grouse. Again, I'm not too familiar on the species in real life. So that's why we've got uh, not really too much information that I can give you guys there, but they are very pretty. I am very happy with them. But that's really all we have to cover today. I hope you guys enjoy this early look once again at the some of the species here on this brand new Finnish reserve. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. I, I really hope that the release isn't gonna be too far away. I'd like to get a chance to play this map as soon as possible. Because it is very cool. They did confirm that there would be some early access, so Whenever I'm able to show it off to you guys, then I'll let you know because we usually get like a few days of early access before a release. So once I know when that's going to be, I'll let you guys know. But I'm very excited, very excited to get a chance to play this map eventually. And I'm very impressed with everything we saw today. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. 
Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed this little look at what they showed off on the EW stream. And one more thing, as we can see right here, you can spot the geese at all times now. There's no such thing as those uh, ghost geese, as they were called, where basically they hadn't broke from the flock, so you couldn't shoot them. Now they're always going to be shootable, which is amazing. It's such a nice change, and I'm glad to see it. But as I was saying, thank, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!